Hello everybody, and welcome to Grow420 TV. This is James, and I hope everybody has had a fantastic week. At our Stoners Lounge Temperature Control Center, our temperature is 74 degrees, our humidity at 50%. This is our 3x3 Ultra Yield Grow Tent, and in here we have our Spectrum King Closet Case 140 Watt Grow Light, and we just cleaned and refreshed this grow tent for a brand new grow. We got a brand new carbon filter hung and some brand new fans in place. And we're super excited for a brand new grow. We went ahead and got some brand new 3 gallon fabric containers and we've got some Coco Choir already mixed up, amended, and ready to go. So I can't wait to have a whole tent full of some beautiful indicas. We're going to have the Sweet Zombie, the Critical Kush, and the Banana Blaze. We're going to have the Sweet Zombie from Expert Seeds, the Critical Kush comes from Barney's Farm, and the Banana Blaze is coming from Dutch Passion Seeds. I'm really excited for this grow, and we're going to get these seedlings out of our nursery, put into our Cocoa Choir, transplanted and now they're ready to go. We're going to add a little bit of water to them and we're going to pH the water between 6.0 and 6.5. And these little girls are going to vegetate over the next couple of weeks and we'll check back in on them in the next couple of days to see how their transplant went. Now over at the Sky High Closet, we're going to be taking down all of the light proof drapes that we have inside of the closet here. We did have a plant turn into a male and spread pollen throughout the closet so we're going to clean everything out and give it a nice refresh. Now over at the nursery, We've got a couple of other seedlings that are sprouted in here and we'll talk about those girls in the next couple of weeks. And then in the back of the nursery we've got our Persephone mother plant. And this is the plant that we get our Persephone clones from. And in the middle here this is our brand new Peyote Gorilla mother plant. We took a clone off of our peyote gorilla and now we're going to make her into a mother plant and we're going to take these seedlings out of the way so we can get our peyote gorilla plant out of the nursery so that we can start to do some low stress training with the plant so it grows really short and compact for us for the tiny nursery space that we have. And you can see on the container where we've pre-drilled some holes. And this is where we're going to be looping through some tie wire so that we can tie the plant close to the potting container like our mother plant for our Persephone has been done over here. So we're going to take some of our tie wire we're also going to take some of our wire snips and through the little hole that we have already drilled in our potting container we'll go ahead and poke our wire through the hole secure one end around the edge of the container and then I'm going to take the plant and bend it 90 degrees straight down towards me loop the wire around the stalk and make sure you move away all of the leaves and inner node branches so they don't get tied up in the wire and I'm going to loop that wire back down through the same hole and pull it tight and pull the plant down tight to the potting container. Now this procedure needs to be done with a young plant. I'm next going to turn the plant 90 degrees along the potting container and loop through another wire through another hole in the container and tie it off in that spot there. I'm 
I will leave a little bit of space for the plant to grow up a little bit towards the light, but I keep the wire tied tight so it cannot separate or grow outside the boundaries of the container it grows along the container's edge. And this is how I keep my mother plants short in my nursery and I also trim back the leaves so the light gets to the inner node branches and helps the inner node branches grow up. Now over at the auto sky closet, this is where we've got our peyote gorilla plant in the front and the bigger plant in the back is the peyote gorilla phenotype that we have. This was a seed that we found in our peyote gorilla and we're growing it to see if there's any variance between the two strains and we can certainly start to see a bit of change between the two strains as the other plant is starting to stretch much larger than our peyote gorilla. It kind of reminds me of how the Alaskan purple started to stretch out and wouldn't that be a nice mix if it was a peyote gorilla and Alaskan purple mix? So they're going to be underneath their 12-12 light cycle. They've got the ES-180 light from the Green Sunshine Company shining down bright upon them. And they can start to make some beautiful flowers here on Grow 420 TV. Checking back in on our 3x3 Ultra Yield tent, our babies look like they've been going along just fine. They're starting to get comfy in their little homes here, and we'll go ahead and add some water to them. It's been about five days since we transplanted them here, so they're just starting to get their roots stretching out into the soil here, and we're going to keep the soil moist for them. Now I think it's time to get some more seeds started for the nursery since we've gotten those little babies cleared out. And when I'm starting seeds, I always like to get my soil moist or wet first. You don't want to plant seeds into dry soil because your seed will just start to float away. And I'm super excited for the seeds that we have starting to grow here too. I got in touch with SK East Coast and got some of his wonderful seeds for our Sky High Closet and for our next grow. We got the OJ Crush. Oh man, the OJ Crush. I can't wait to grow this plant, man. It sounds so delicious. And when I plant my seeds, man, I just po poke a little hole in the cocoa with a little pin and then I just drop the seed right on in and close the soil in and around the seed. And then next we've got the Alexander Super Tramp. Oh yeah, Alexander Super Tramp, I can't wait. We're gonna go ahead and plant two of these seeds and that'll leave me one seed extra uh, and I'll save that seed right there. Uh, I'm sure probably for a special occasion. <laughs> And you know, they were some good looking seeds too. I was really happy with the quality of seeds that we got from SK East Coast too. So uh, thanks again SK East Coast. We're really happy with the seeds we got, man. And then we're gonna start some Crunchberry seeds. Now the Crunchberry seeds are gonna be regular seeds. So we've got about a 50-50% chance of them being male. So I'm gonna make three seedlings of Crunchberries. And this way I've got a chance for, you know, a couple of them to be male and have at least one good female plant. And if they're all good female plants, uh, then we'll take it. That'll be wonderful. So we'll get our Crunchberry seeds going and there's some good looking seeds too. And then last but certainly not least is the OJ Kush Times Berry. Oh, thank you so much SK East Coast for letting me have just one of these seeds. One's enough, man. One is enough. I can't wait for this one to grow in too. So thank you everyone for watching the show. I hope you like, subscribe. Don't forget to go check out SK East Coast videos on the WeedTube. Also, thank you everyone and we'll see you next week.